Welcome back to the Conley Family Channel. Join us as we deep clean the girls' room today. Hi, Madeline, do you love Piper? Do you love spending time with her? Piper, you want to tell everybody what you told me this morning about your tummy? Say thank you. <laughs> Tell, tell everyone. It's feeling a little better. That's such a good thing. They're playing train. Laundry time. Look at all of this. This is just two loads, but it seems like so much on my dump the chair pile. Before we get started on learning how to teach our children to clean their room properly, one of the biggest things that is required of us as parents is to set the example, which means show them how you expect them to clean their room. And then example, how do I make my bed? You take their beds apart and you show them how to do each layer. Same with putting away their clothes, hanging up things, picking up their floor, all of that. And then before you know it, they are ready to do it themselves. Yeah. Another thing to keep in mind is setting realistic expectations. At five years old, how well can you make your bed after I've shown you? At eight years old, how well can you do this chore after you've been shown? And then that way you have a level of what you will accept as it's done right. And then you also know what they're capable of. You know, this is efficient or this is really not your best work. Let's try again. My older daughter gets her bed made much quicker because she's had more time practicing doing it as where my younger daughter hasn't quite mastered it yet but she's really doing a great job but you can see she kind of goofs around jumps on her bed so it's just part of teaching them to be diligent with their work and have a joyful attitude eventually they get to the point where they just get it done quick Sometimes I've got to pop in there and say, hey, don't forget we're supposed to be cleaning our room or making our beds, whatever it is. Kids do get distracted and it's okay. We're trying to just cultivate an attitude and a belief in them that they can achieve the things that they've set out to do on their own and they can do a good job. Sometimes being an encouragement to your children works much better than disciplining them over not doing something the way you want it to. So we're finding that positive encouragement really does go far here. They are just about finished and I am so proud of them getting it done. We're trying out a new layout with the play kitchen in the living room and we'll see how we like it. That way Madeline can play too without being in the big girls room. I'd say she likes it being out here. So cute. All right, so we're trying to get this room all cleaned up and organized. The girls' little dressers are now out here, and we're going to go through those later so that they can get into them easier. I'm the bear. <laughs> and then this is moved over here, and we'll have to have Daddy anchor it to the wall so it's safe. Madeline, do you have a big girl shoe on? So cute. My cue. This is how the girls' room is going to be now. Their closets are now out here where they can easily get into them because it was creating a problem with the tiny closet doors, them putting their clothes away, right? So now they can utilize their coat racks well. Daddy will anchor the TV stand to the wall. They know how to make their beds, but now your closet can stay clean too. So. This is how I want them to put their stuff away in here every day. They've got their car stuff, 
their Barbie and dress up. These are shoes that they'll wear in a future size. And then over here is where their dirt bike helmets will go. Open up the other side. Okay, watch out. And then this is where their shoes will go. The top are slippers, and then they each have a actual shoe or church shoe drawer, and the bottom is for boots, and then those are boots that are too tall to fit in. Today for our snack, we're making immune boosting smoothies with some almond milk as our base, about 24 ounces and then a tablespoon of baobab powder, which is extremely high in vitamin C. It is a good boost that we need right now. Some frozen strawberries, and then I'll get some frozen pineapple out and add that in a minute. Whey protein powder, one scoop, which is equal to a quarter cup. And then we give this a good blend. I almost forgot about the puree sweetener, which is like stevia and erythritol. Just makes it a little bit sweeter for the kids so that it's not so bleh. So I add that, blend it all together, and it is so good. Here it is all finished. It's so good. I love when it gets to the point where it's smooth. And just as good as going and buying a smoothie at the store. Lonnie's working on her timed math event. Not her favorite, but she is doing a great job at getting them done. And Piper has reading and some name writing left to finish. Our daily story time. All week in school, Amelia Bedelia thought about adventures. In her mind, she rappelled down Mount Everest and sat around Cape Horn. Where are you, Amelia Bedelia? Her teacher asked. You're a million miles away. My body is right in the classroom, Mrs. Shock said Amelia Bedelia. Somebody just woke up from her nap. Now we go outside with the other kids. So today we're taking on the giant task of cleaning the toy cabinet. So the girls have like their little Barbie accessories and toys, the My Little Ponies and Barbies, and then the giant Barbies accessories. And then this is going to be for American Girl doll stuff and baby dolls. Well, it's time for me to try to put her down for her last nap of the day, huh? Yeah. So we're going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. This seems to be the way we're ending our videos lately. And we're okay with that. Huh? Oh. <laughs> hi. Yeah, hi. We're okay with that. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.